And Jesus has reached the limit. He says, unless you see signs and wonders, you will not believe. How much longer do I have to perform signs and miracles so that you can believe the purpose of the signs and miracles? The signs and miracles are not to produce faith. We all know very clearly that faith is a gift of God. It's a, it's a gift that's developed. It's a gift that is in, in employed in our life. And Jesus is saying, unless you see signs and wonders, you don't believe. I'm tired of this. At first, you have to admit that that sounds a little crude. That Jesus tells a man who loves his son, who happens to be dying, who's traveled a long way, and come and search for him, and has asked him something legitimate and valid and loving. You would think that, what? This is a bit harsh. This man is dying. This son's man, man is dying and he's traveled and he believes at least that you can do the impossible. But then as I, as I get into it a little bit deeper, I realize that Jesus is not frustrated just with this man, but he's frustrated with us. He's frustrated with people like us that come sometimes in need and, and we're, we're almost demanding, God, do something. Please, Change my life, change my, my family, change my circumstances. Please do something. We're frustrated. And, and so we want God to do something. We want God to, to be our, our caterer. You know, we want him to do something so that we can feel good about the things that we have in our lives. But, but Jesus is, is beyond the, the, the